Welcome to Dweller of the Dark. We are a channel honoring the yellowed and blackened bones of many prominent authors. We will be digging up several obscure, strange, and forgotten authors who influenced many of the great horror, science fiction, and fantasy writers today. More tales of the horrifying, obscure, strange, and forgotten are climbing out of the tombs. Subscribe, comment, like, donate, or I'll send Thaddeus Forge to steal your heathen soul. Unknown horror masters, send us ghoulish delights for the Skull and Bones collection. Your pound of writer's flesh will continue to feed our ghouls for now. Books, websites, podcasts, in the links below. Children of Harwin, Legion of Ghouls. Tonight, the season of Halloween has arrived. Each day, night, or hell, whenever the spirit commands us, we'll be presenting all manner of Halloween-themed tales, short stories, a novel, or two, and much more. Let's kick things off with Edgar Allan Poe's ghostly masterpiece, Ulu. Devilishly devoted to Halloween, and harbor, may your souls always be. Ula Loon. The skies, they were ashen and sober. The leaves, they were crisped and sere. The leaves, they were withering and sere. It was night in the lonesome October of my most memorial year. It was hard by the dim lake of Auburn in the misty mid-region of Weir. It was down by the dank torn of Auburn in the ghoul-haunted woodland of Weir. Here once, through an alley titanic of cypress, I roam with my soul of cypress, with psyche, my soul. There were days when my heart was volcanic and the scoriac rivers that rolled and the lavas that restlessly rolled. There's sulfurous currents down Yannick in the ultimate climbs of the pole that groan as they roll down Mount Yannick in the realms of the boreal pole. Our talk had been serious and sober, but our thoughts, they were palsied and seared. Our memories were treacherous and seared. For we knew not the month was October, and we marked not the night of the year. Ah, night of all nights in the year. We noted not the dim lake of Auburn, though once we had journeyed down here, Remembered not the dank torn of Auber, nor the ghoul haunted woodland of Weir. And now, as the night was senescent, and the star dials pointed to morn, as the star dials hinted of morn, at the end of our path a liquescent and nebulous luster was born, out of which a miraculous crescent arose with a duplicate horn, Astarte's bediamond crescent, distinct with its duplicate horn. And I said, she is warmer than Dian. She rolls through an either of size. She revels in a region of size. She has seen that the tears are not dry on these cheeks, where the worm never dies and has come past the stars of the lion to point us the path to the skies, to the lethean peace of the skies. Come up, and despite of the lion, to shine on us with her bright eyes. Come up through the lair of the lion with love in her luminous eyes. With Psyche, uplifting her finger, said, sadly this star I mistrust, her pallor I strangely mistrust. 
Ho, hasten! Ho, let us not linger! Ho, fly! Let us fly, for we must! In terror she spoke, letting sink her wings until they trailed in the dust. In agony sobbed, letting sink her plumes till they trailed in the dust. Till they sorrowfully trailed in the dust. I replied, this is nothing but dreaming. Let us on by this tremulous light. Let us bathe in this crystalline light. Its sibyllic splendor is beaming with hope and in beauty tonight. See, it flickers up the sky through the night. Ah, oh, we safely may trust to its gleaming and be sure it will lead us aright. We safely may trust to a gleaming that cannot but guide us aright since it flickers up to heaven through the night. Thus, I pacified Psyche and kissed her and tempted her out of her gloom and conquered her scruples and gloom and we passed to the end of the vista but were stopped by the door of a tomb by the door of a legend tomb and I said what is written sweet sister on the door of this legend tomb she replied Ulalum Ulalum tis the vault of thy lost Ulalum In my heart, it grew ashen and sober as the leaves that were crisped and sear, as the leaves that were withering and sear. And I cried, it was surely October on this very night of last year that I journeyed, I journeyed down here, that I brought a dread burden down here on this night of all nights in the year. Ah, what demon has tempted me here? Well, I know now this dim lake of Auburn, this misty mid-region of Weir. Well, I know now this dank tawn of Auburn, this ghoul-haunted woodland of Weir. Thank you for listening. Have a great night.